Amazon Redshift now supports the ability to pause and resume a cluster, thus allowing customers to easily suspend on-demand billing while the cluster is not being used. As you can see here, I have several uh, clusters that I'm monitoring using Amazon Redshift console and out of which this cluster is in a paused state. When a cluster is paused state, you can perform only limited action um, and I want to just resume this cluster. I want to resume this cluster now. Uh, we allow resuming the cluster either from the console or using um, AWS SDK or CLI. Now I want to quickly demonstrate you how you can use the scheduled pause and resume feature in Amazon Redshift so that you can use repeating pause and resume action on your cluster. For example, you if you have a cluster that is being used for test and development and you want to pause this cluster during your weekend. Um, so I'm just going to pause this cluster starting on 6 p.m. UTC on every Friday and then resume this cluster at 8 a.m. every Monday UTC uh, time. So when you resume uh, or pause a cluster and then you want to create a schedule, you have to provide the, uh, a role that has permission to, to perform scheduled operation. So as I uh, submitted my uh, scheduled pause and resume, as you saw that it created two different actions, one for pause and one for uh, resume. You can look at all your schedules, including the pause and resume schedule and elastic resize schedule um, in, in this page.